Okay, welcome back. So in our last video on the product rule, we were looking at two functions of x that were multiplying by each other. So remember, when we want to differentiate something and two things are multiplying, we're going to use the product rule. Now, if we want to differentiate something where two things are dividing instead like this, then we're going to have to use the quotient rule. Okay, so dividing for quotient rule and multiplying for product rule. Okay, it's all when we're trying to differentiate something. So if we want to differentiate something with u over v, where there's an x in the u function and a, an x in the v function, so it'll make more sense when we do an example. Basically, there'll be an x on top and an x in the bottom uh, of our fraction. If we want to differentiate that, we're going to say that dy dx is equal to v du dx minus u dv dx, all divided by v squared, where u is whatever is on top of the fraction and v is whatever is on the bottom of the fraction. Okay, so we're going to go straight ahead with an example. And I'm going to say that y is equal to 2x minus 3 over x squared minus 4. Okay, so this is in the form. I'm going to write it over here. u over v. So we have our thing on top, our u, divided by our x in the bottom, which is going to be our v. And we're going to write these out just like we did in the last question. Okay, so let me just give some space there. So u is equal to... 2x minus 3 and v is equal to x squared minus 4. Okay, so that means our du dx is going to be equal to 2. So if you differentiate 2x, it'll go to 2, and if you differentiate minus 3, it'll go to 0. So it's just 2 is our answer. And now if we differentiate dv dx, okay, our x squared will go to 2x and our minus 4 will go to 0. Okay, so now we have our differentiations done. So now we can just stick these straight into our formula, okay? So which I will write down here. Um, so I'm actually gonna write, I'm not going to well, write it out here. So we're going to say that dy dx is equal to, and let me just check it, v du dx, v du dx minus u, dv dx all divided by v squared okay so our v is going to be x squared minus 4 so we're going to stick that in x squared minus 4 and our du dx is going to be 2 so I'm just going to put that there minus our u which is 2x minus 3 And our dv dx, which is 2x, so I'll write that here, all divided by v squared. So x squared minus 4, all squared, okay? And we're just going to leave that bottom bit because you don't need to work it out. You can just leave it the way it is, and that's fine as well, okay? Um, so if we multiply this out, we're going to get 2x squared minus 8. And on this side, it's going to be, I'm going to keep the minus there. And we're going to get 4x squared minus 6x. And this is all going to be divided again by our x squared minus 4 all to be squared. Okay, so we're not going to, not going to touch that. So let me just move the screen over a little bit like this. And I'm going to draw a line down and continue. Um, so if we continue this up here, we're going to be left with 2x squared minus 8 to be minus 4x squared and minus minus 6x will leave us with plus 6x again all divided by x squared minus 4 and our final answer then for dy dx is going to be equal to minus 2x squared plus 6x minus 8 all divided by, oh, sorry, that's squared, x squared minus 4 squared. Okay, so again, like I said, they're not always going to be nice answers now when you use the product rule and the quotient rule. They can go, get quite messy, but uh, hopefully that's clear now. It's just about, if you simplify it enough, all you have to do is, let me find this again. So it's, our formula is dy dx is equal to v du dx minus u dv dx all over v squared. So if you find out what u and v are, so in this case here we said u is in the top and v is in the bottom, 
Uh, it's always like that. You always have to say that. Then you're going to find your U. You're going to find your V. You do your DUDX, your DVDX, and then you just sub them in. So if you break it up, you only have to do quite small, simple differentiations. You don't have to differentiate it all at once. You can break it up into little bits and then just sub it in, which should make it all a bit easier. And I'll just go over to the final answer one last time. So our final answer is this here. Okay, hope this video helped.